All right, this is a read aloud for the Phantom Tollbooth um, comprehension check. Don't forget to put your name. And the first question says, what is in the package that Milo receives? A bear, a Phantom Tollbooth, money, or a computer? This question says, who is Talk and what does he look like? A dog with a clock for a body, a cat with a car for a body, a talking hand watch, which is kind of like, you know, just think of a, like a watch or a car. What do the merchants in the marketplace of Dictionopolis sell? They sell apples, they sell clocks, words, or coins. What does Azaz send Milo, Talk, and Humbug to do? To sell more words, to convince the mathematician to release the princesses and then bring them back to Dictionopolis, to convince the princess to stay, to find more clocks. What does Azaz give Milo? A picture, a new clock, a box containing the letters of the alphabet, Nothing. After reading this drama, where can imagination lead you or someone else? So this question, I know you guys are all going to probably like be a little nervous about answering. So it's just like, what do you think the author was thinking when, I don't even know who wrote this story, he or she wrote this story. So just think, where can imagination lead you or someone else? You might even want to think about dreams or um, you can even think about like lots of cartoons are the same way. Like Spongebob for sure, because um, sometimes you read or watch those and we like, what was that person thinking? So that could help you answer that question. As always, if you need anything, please just message me.